tell you, this sure puts me in a good mood because I have talked on this show before, just after I saw her and for years, about how I think that Hugh Jackman is perhaps the greatest onstage performer in the world, okay? Now, and right now, he's giving my point every night with sensational reviews and the hottest ticket in town, Hugh Jackman back on Broadway. Take a look at just a little bit. And I Okay, he's back in the view. Please welcome Hugh Jackman. Joy now to tweet to everybody, to all of her followers, and she said, I'm gonna put my hand on head. No, he said. Hugh Jackman said, watch Joy Pan on my thigh in this section. You can keep it there. That's okay. You and I did a lap dance. How much? I run hot. I do run hot. Can we get back to the show, please? Sorry, hi. Sorry, yeah, hi. So most stage actors want to do films, and of course you are very well known in films. You would rather be in the stage. What's wrong with you? <laughs> it's where I began. It probably it. It just feels a, like my home. Like I, I look. Don't get me wrong. I love films, and I'm thrilled to have the opportunity to do it. But if you, if you ask me, my top ten moments as an actor. Probably all of them would be on stage. There's something so immediate, particularly in New York with those Broadway audiences. It, it, and they nothing stand other in line when you come out. I haven't seen that. They're yeah. on the street. And, you know, yeah, I pay, I pay them to do that. That's a, that's a whole <laughs> thing. But, uh, Whatever, yeah, whatever the, it is. The, 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 the audiences here are amazing. You know, they're you amazing. really, though, what I saw, I saw some footage of you rehearsing, and what I so respect, too, is you are as passionate in rehearsal as you are on stage. Yes. And you could tell you love it in all parts, and I think that's incredible. I want to know where your love for the musicals really began like where did you, you know, first hear the songs because you get to sing them on stage now all of your australia. favorites yeah in, in australia how was that australia, australia. Yeah. australia. Yeah. yeah in australia when i see when i was growing up we had four channels on the tv right and there was not a lot of choice so mm -hmm. i always remember on the weekends i'd play rugby in the morning and in the afternoon i'd watch those great old musicals oh. like i'd come home I'd be exhausted blood over me and i'd have a shower and i'd turn on and be Gene Kelly, Fred Astaire, yeah. you know, Ginger Rogers, and I, I just always thought they were brilliant. I loved mm. it. I think Singing in the Rain is one of my favorite movies. Forget musicals, it's just one of my favorite movies it's full a great time. Film. Yeah, and I just really I loved that form and and I always kind of had uh, that there is a love, and it probably started yeah. from when I was in Australia, well, you know, yeah. to be honest. Well, yeah. Part of what you do is the reaction with the audience. Yeah. And when you when you look at the audience, what, whether it's a man or a woman, what are you looking for? Because you have to make decisions like that. Right. What do you look for? Do you look for someone who's jolly or somebody who's cranky or what? You know, I... <laughs> <laughs> That's not her mind. <laughs> Could be me. Put you in the audience. <laughs> when I want to do a lap dance, I only look to you. <laughs> no, no. That's all. My happiest no moment. No one else. My, my happiest moment. No one else. Oh, sure. <laughs> I think He's still probably my heart. Yeah. <laughs> one of my favorite types of people to play with is the one, if I see a, a guy who's obviously been dragged there, I can tell he's yeah. been dragged along. Yeah. Sometimes they're looking at the football score, they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, great. Sometimes they're, they're fun to play with. But the, just the other day, and it's, often it's the ones that surprise you. Yeah. You know, yeah. for some reason you're drawn to someone, you don't even know why. I dragged him up on stage, and this guy was, his name was Bob, he was 83. Oh. And he was an ad. I said, what do you do? He goes, oh, I'm retired. I was an ad man my entire life, and now I'm a songwriter. And I was like, really? He goes, yeah, I started writing three years ago. And I said, well, how do you write your songs? And he says, on the piano. I says, well, here you go, mate. Here's a stage. Here's a oh, piano. Right. You've got an 18-piece orchestra. Yeah. And he goes, oh, my word. I saw him turn into, like, a, an 11-year-old, partly terrified and partly so excited. And he sat down at the piano. He says, I'm not sure if I can play and sing. And I said, well, just do whatever you want. So he started to play, and I could see he was nervous. And he had a, this beautiful Christmas song. And I oh. held the microphone up, 
And he was nervous, but he just sang. And the, I, I got tears in my eyes. And the oh, audience wow. just went crazy. Yeah, and I could see course. this guy kind of welling up. And he'd obviously dreamt his entire life. So it's things like that. They're little gifts that happen that you don't well, expect. Well, I know. You, you know? You're, you're very like... generous, though, on stage. A lot of people wouldn't do that. Well, I walked off for half an hour <laughs> just because I wanted a break. But it's so funny. Take away, Bob. You, you, <laughs> make, you, you make people well up. And I know when I was there, it was, like, absolutely amazing. And after the show, you uh, auction off items that you wore, like your T-shirt to Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS to raise right. money for wonderful charity. And I bid. And I okay, actually, when, when, I, when I bid, you know, to to give, I screamed out, will you give me a kiss? If you don't ask for it, you don't get it. <laughs> and Hugh said well, he sorry. would. Well, first I gotta give you the, this is, the, this is a check for oh, the, thank for you the very charity. Yes, good. But, <laughs> so I said, I keep everything that, that no. Oh, 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 so so when, I, when I went home and told my husband that you were gonna give me a kiss, he said, Wolverine cannot give you a kiss because <laughs> we just got married. So I figured I would give my kiss to somebody in the audience. Oh. Oh. who flew all the way from Georgia. Carla? Are you Carla? You flew Carla. all the way from Georgia because you are such a Hugh Jackman fan. Right. Kent, y'all, I'm going to give you my kiss. All right. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. With your three brothers and one sister. Two brothers, two brothers, two sisters. Two sisters. Yes. Your father, with your father, he raised you as a single father. Yeah. And you gave a really uh, moving tribute to your dad in your show. Mm, yeah. But one one thing that just really got me, you talked about when he came to see you at Carnegie Hall. Yeah. Can oh, you tell yeah. that story? He never missed a day of work, my dad. And so he had to miss three days of work. It's a 24-hour flight from Australia, 20, like 12 hours in New York at Carnegie Hall where I was doing carousel and then flew back. And I told him the dress code was black tie, and he, he, he needs to know all the details. So he rang me and he said, Hugh, I don't expect to see you at all. Uh, it would really mean a lot to me if I could come and pick you up at your hotel room and walk you to the stage door yeah. at Carnegie Hall. And I said, of course, maybe at 6.30. So the day of the show, I found out it wasn't black tie, it was business casual, right, the dress code. So I rang Dad, he said, don't worry, I've got it, I'm sorted, don't worry. So 6.30 on the dot, I open up the door, Dad's there in full black tie, right, outside, and I said, Dad, seriously, it's not black, no one's wearing black tie, okay? I mean, apart from the choir, the only people wearing black tie are the choir. <laughs> and he said, Hugh, he looked me straight in the eye and he said, my son is singing at Carnegie Hall, it is black tie That's for me. Right. Oh, That's right. That's so sweet. And, yeah. I, I can see my dad. Literally from the stage, the only guy in black tie is <laughs> sitting up there. I could see him right there. That's the craziest thing that ever happened, though, there. What uh, happened crazy? The crazy? Yeah, crazy. I remember, oh, gosh, Boy From Oz, I had one, one woman came and just took a top off. Oh, the, wow. Yeah. Another woman ca said yelled. You wouldn't tell anybody. <laughs> Sorry. <here>. Boy, <laughs> <laughs> Dressing room, one woman, yeah, no, one woman yelled out to me, I want to bite your ass. Oh, Am I allowed wow. to say that? And, I, and I, was, I was like, everyone's laughing. And I said, I said, all right then, come on, thinking, you know, calling a bluff. She marches straight down. I'm, I'm doing one of these on this stage. 
I don't just just <laughs> right I had a bruise for three days. Right here. Right yeah. in my room. But I know somebody who wasn't so thrilled with you. The day that I saw it, your marvelous wife, uh, Debbie, yes. Debbie, was there with your two kids. Yes. Uh, Ava yes. and Oscar. Ava and Oscar. And I went backstage and Ava. She saw you in the first act, and then she was bored, and she went back to her dressing room <laughs> for the second act and watched Good. cartoons. Yes. So much for Dad. Yes. Yeah. I said to them, it was very sweet. I said to both of them, I said, look, guys, I'm so thrilled you came, and it's not really made for you, and you can be totally honest with me, okay? I want you to know what you thought of the show. And my son, who hates theatre, I was How ready was for him to launch 11. 11. Oscar said, Dad, I really liked it. Oh. And yeah. Oscar and Ava, who's six, said, Dad, I thought it was a little boring. <laughs> I, just want to say, I want to say something about your two kids because it, it's important and, and it's something that your wife and I have talked about. Your two children are adopted. Mm. You know I have an adopted child, so it's very close to our heart. And the, your wife is, ve is very involved in the founding patron. She is a founding patron. I want to get this right. An organization called National Adoption Awareness Week because yeah. there's an anti-adoption a culture in Australia. If you're interested, look it up on our website. She does amazing work. Oh, she really is. Uh, I'm so proud of her. And what because she's of doing. that, she wasn't at your opening night. Yeah, she had to be in Australia. Yeah. Every, uh, you know, we didn't know. She'd already booked that before the opening. It's the first time I did an opening without her. Mm. It felt very, very strange. But what she was doing was, was How long very have important. You been married? Sixteen years. Wow. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and it made me laugh because. I, I saw Sherry in the commercial break. She goes, we're up to 108 days. And I was like... <laughs> I said, you'll stop counting days pretty soon. Don't worry about that. That makes me laugh, too. <laughs> now, Hugh. I'm glad you're back on Broadway. Yes. It's, it's fantastic. I'll be by to see you. You know I always do. Thank you. But I want to know, man, yeah. because yeah. I, I, I have a different love, and that is the love of Wolverine. Yeah. And so I... I need to know. I need to know... There is another film, right? You got it. All right. We're Thank shooting. Uh, <laughs> we're shooting next summer. So oh, yeah. we're shooting the summer. It's set in Japan. It's right. the whole samurai story, which oh, I know nice. the fans love, yeah, yeah. and I'm really, really excited about it. Okay. So don't worry. Yeah, you'll be at the first There's screening. Else? I will. Okay. I think. Yeah, doing Les Les and then uh, I'm doing Les Miserables, yes. the movie oh, first. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> movie first. It's so funny because as a movie, as a movie, as a movie or as a movie. musical. Tom Hooper's to, as as a movie musical. Oh. Okay. So Tom Hooper, uh, who directed The King's Speech, uh, oh, yeah. is going to, and Anne Hathaway, Russell yeah. Crowe. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But you know, it's so funny oh, because wait. at Wolverine, you are cut. You take your shirt off. It's just okay. My fantasies. I'm bringing them forward. But you, <laughs> when, when you're cut, but then you're doing eight shows a week, and no yeah. shows. You're it, they are physically demanding. I know you're losing weight. How do you stay in shape uh, How do you keep your for the show? Well, and I'm, I'm in the best shape. I, I mean, I don't know about shape, but in terms of fitness, yeah. I'm as fit as I will ever be. Singing and dancing, there is nothing. Harder yeah. than that, but yeah. but I can't maintain the bulk, so I just it just goes literally. I and think. Then you get it back for Wolverine. Yeah. Then I've just got to go and hit it in the gym and and eat. And How thank goodness for time? Thanksgiving. I'm going to be a, a lot of turkey. <laughs> well, it how takes, how it long does it take you to bulk up? Uh, you months? know, four, or five months, something yeah. like that, to do it properly. That's yeah. why you're doing it in the summer. Give yourself a little break and then it. get into the film. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. 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 Which one does your wife like better, Wolverine or this this slim physique here? Well. <laughs> to be honest, Wolverine. Ah! I think <laughs> Now, this is actually my natural body, right? Okay. But when I met my wife, I was on a prison. It was a prison drama. She was the star, and I was a prisoner, so I was oh, all jacked oh, up. That so she met. Huh? The right. Prisoner did she that. was like, "Do not take those tattoos off when you come home tonight." <laughs> your, your wife is a great actress, does, and right. now she's, you know, mm. there's you and the kids. Does she ever resent giving up the career that she had? No, uh, she still acts a little, and she gets asked. Oh, she she feels. That is, there was a little while there when the kids were first born, it was tough for her because she didn't act at all for about five years. Mm -hmm. And there, after about two or three years, she was like, oh, that was such an important part of my life. And, and she said, I need to go back. So she's gone and done a few things. She yeah. has directors asking. But she said, right now, to do, you know, ten weeks a year as an actor is perfect. And the rest oh, of the yes. time with the kids, yeah. she yeah. feels yeah. very yeah. happy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And she yeah. acted a lot. I think she's, yeah. she's, she she's feels good. Popular. Yeah. Thank, you. Yeah. thank you so much for coming by. Oh, thank pleasure. you for making Carla's dream thank come you, true. Carla. We love you. We want to thank Hugh Jackman. You can see him in Hugh Jackman. That's